lunch today. Just want to minister to you a little bit and talk to you. I'm going to wait till you all come on. Uh, I'm here in California. So, hello, hello there to all of you. Blessings and a blessed, blessed, happy new year to all of you today. I want to greet you and pray with you. Hello to Mary and Paul. Bless you, Paul and Mary and Rosalva. Hello, Rafsila and Kay from the UK. Wow, you're still up over there. My goodness. Hello, Marilyn and hello, Jotis and April. God bless you all. And uh, it says, hello, I pray for marriage this year. Amen. We will pray today. Happy New Year to Vincent and Christine and Renee and Jackie from Ohio. Hello. And uh, Maharz. Hello, Charles. God bless you, Jackie. God bless you, James uh, from New York. Love you all. Thank you. Happy New Year to every one of you. May the Lord bless you greatly and powerfully. Hello to Anne and Crystal and Edith and Farah and Sunlin, Sunil. Hello, General Smith. Uh, thank you. Thank you all for coming on. Well, I want to just uh, let you know I wanted to do uh, something yesterday with you. We were flying all day, went to Orlando. Uh, we were here first and uh, for Christmas. Went to Orlando because we have family there too. And then I ministered while I was there and flew back yesterday. And today the scripture that came to me, uh, I just want to share it with you just to bless you. Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee. The way to find peace this new year and keep it is to stay on the Lord. In other words, keep him in our hearts and minds and thoughts every moment of every day. Because it says, Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed. Whose mind is stayed. There's no breaks. There's no neglect. The price of neglect is very, very, very high. And I know we have a lot of pressures in life especially around the holidays and uh, even other times, where things pull us away from the Master. Nothing in life, nothing, is more important than spending time with Jesus daily. Daily contact, this 2018, is going to be the key to our life uh, being lived in peace and joy. Troubles come. Uh, the, the Bible never promises a life with no troubles. It says when you go through the waters, not if. When you go through the fire, then God says, I will be with you. The fire will not burn you. You'll not drown. So God didn't say if, he said when. So we do know that troubles come our way. They come my way. I can tell you I've had my share of them. And it seems, I think, the longer you live, the more trouble we have with life. The world today is in serious trouble. I know people were celebrating and dancing and so forth only a few days back. But this year, 2018, is going to be a turbulent year for the world, for the world. You think about North Korea, Iran, what's happening in Iran today, the protests. You think about all the trouble in the world. And the trouble, the Lord said to us very clearly, will continue and get worse. But now, how about believers? We believers, that's what I want to focus on. Uh, the world will have tribulation. It, it, the Lord said you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I've overcome the world. So our, our, our secret is the hiding place. You, we cannot neglect the hiding place. He that dwelleth, not visits, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And then this individual says, then he'll say, I will say of the Lord, he's my, he's my refuge, he's my fortress, 
he is my defense. And then all the promises of that blessed psalm become ours. But the key is keeping contact with Jesus, staying upon the Lord. Thou will keep him in perfect peace. The Lord never promised us partial peace, nor did he promise us peace that's weak or is not solid. He said perfect. I'm going to pray with you today for perfect peace because I want it for myself too. Uh, perfect peace let's 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 all say perfect peace say this year is my year of perfect peace not partial peace not w peace that comes and goes he said my peace I give unto you not as the world gives the world's peace comes in pieces and comes here comes there it's all emotional but the peace of God the peace of God now so how do we get the peace of God well, Paul tells us, he says, let your requests be made known and the peace of God that passeth all understanding will keep your heart, your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. So we cannot find peace in life without prayer. And so I, even though we, we, we all know that, and I'm talking to you as your brother, it's prayer. It's spending time with Jesus daily 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 because the day you miss the day you miss is the day we give the enemy that open door and it says to us give no place to the to the enemy give no place to the devil well how do we do that by keeping the door closed and how do we do that by staying in touch with Jesus daily absolutely daily I flew in last night from from Florida it was late but the first thing I did when I got in my bedroom is read the Word of God. I read the book of Romans. And it was precious, you know, because you, you, you can have uh, turmoil on the outside, but the peace of God is in your heart. You know, uh, sorrowing yet rejoicing, the Bible says. Uh, and and uh, my spirit, Mary said, my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. So it, that's really what matters, is the spiritual peace that we all need. Mental peace comes and goes, and I'm not even, even talking about that. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about peace that passeth all understanding. It's not mental. Uh, it's, it's, it's in the heart. That's really what it counts. Because, you know, you know, we all have, and let's be real, we all have eruptions in life. We're going to lose moments of you know mental peace comes mental peace goes you know mental peace is not going to always be there heart peace will always be there and that's what's going to keep us because mental peace will always follow the heart peace when the heart is peaceful that's really all that matters all that matters uh when my mom went to be home to be with the lord my heart was what was at peace my mind wasn't you know, because, you know, you, you know you're going to miss her and you're uh, facing a situation that is very, uh, was changing every few minutes uh, and then be, began to change even more rapidly. Uh, and then, you know, you just had to rely on the peace of God and the peace of God is in your heart. And, and, and when the Bible says, thou wilt keep him in, in perfect peace with mind, mind well it, you know it didn't say brain it says mind which mind the spiritual mind not the mental brain and I think sometimes we we make a mistake by the way blessed New Year to everyone that's coming on now bless you and we're gonna pray yes we are uh, bless you all no I, I, I really want to talk to you as my good friend and partner about this because we all have eruptions mentally you know you could you could wake up in the morning by the way tim is with me you want to say hi tim happy new year everyone bless you um you know we we wake up in the morning and we spend time with the lord and peace fills our hearts or if we're flying in like we did yesterday you you, you spend time with him at night it's always better in the morning to be honest with you you know nights your body is not all there but 
you can get up in the, in the, in the morning, like I, I said, and spend time and peace is in your heart. And next thing you know, wham, within an hour, something goes wrong. It could be whatever in life comes our way. And it, it can disrupt us mentally for a very short time. Now, if there was no peace in our hearts, the trouble would continue. It would not go away. And then this is when people end up, you know, taking whatever, doing all kinds of things, taking pills and just looking for a way out. And, and usually every way out is uh, not the way out at all. <laughs> it's the way down. The only thing I know in life after... 43 years of ministry and, and a longer time as a Christian is daily contact with Jesus is the only thing that ever kept me ever 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 kept me and believe me I've had my I've had my uh, my moments <laughs> maybe 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 more than you have <laughs> because the more you do for God the more the enemy attacks you the more he attacks your family the more he tries to distract you. There are very painful moments at times. We all face with family, with friends, with you name it. Uh, job, life, this life, life, life. You know, nobody, none of us are going to ever escape the troubles of life. Life will always have its troubles. The Lord never promised that uh, weapons will not be formed against us. He just said they, they will not prosper. Mm -hmm. They will not prosper. So the key is peace in our hearts. And when the Bible says mind, it doesn't mean the brain, by the way. It means the heart again. Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace whose mind, spiritual mind, is stayed on thee. Because you can't think about uh, with the brain. You can't think spiritually. The, the brain is affected by what's happening on the inside of you. So it's what's happening on the inside that really, really matters. And so every morning, let's make a commitment, all of us, as I have. You know, there's no sacred dates with God. I know people make these New Year's resolutions. Uh, it's really for us. It's not for the Lord. God is not, you know, he's not uh, superstitious. I think we are all, you know, we want to start the year right because it's January 1. And there's no such things in the spiritual life. There's no sacred, sacred dates. But God understands. We all need to kind of say, okay, it's a new beginning. It's a new beginning. Even though it's not an, a new beginning because every day should be a new beginning. Every day should be a new beginning. With, with every sunrise should be a new beginning. But all right, God understands we people want to have new beginnings for certain times of the year, whatever. It's fine. So let's let's kind of make that commitment all over again. Daily contact with Jesus. I really want to get this through to you. Daily contact with Jesus. That's the key that's going to keep your life peaceful all of 2018 yes. and beyond and in 2018 you're going to have moments when things will erupt here and there but they usually don't last they go away sometimes within minutes sometimes within hours as long as we don't lose our peace so i'm going to pray with you that you'll never lose your peace never lose your peace no matter what happens never lose your peace Jesus, we come to you. And Lord, I pray for my sweet and wonderful partners that are with me now on social media. And Lord God, I pray in the name of Jesus that your peace will flood our hearts. Your peace will flood our soul. And your peace will flood our minds too. And that your people will seek you, Lord, daily. We're going to all seek you daily, no matter what happens. We're going to take those special, precious moments with you daily. Whether it's half an hour or an hour. And just talk to you, to find you, Lord. For finding you, we find our peace. And now, Lord, I pray every one of your people, your, they're your people, that you'll touch them by the Holy Spirit's power as we make this new commitment 
to seek you daily and have contact with you daily. In your sweet name I pray that everyone this year will have peace that passeth all understandings and keep our hearts and minds in it in Jesus' name. And God's people said, Amen, Amen, Amen. Ephraim says, I'll receive it in Jesus' name. Wow. Well, you know, as someone says, thanks for showing us the way. It's just simple things, simple things we do in life. Mm -hmm. And there's no peace outside Jesus. There's no peace outside the Lord, none whatsoever. And, you know, what, what really works with me, and I believe it's also biblical, is try to spend one hour a day, even if you break it up. Because Jesus said, could you not tarry with me an hour? That's, that's biblical. He said, could, could you not be with me for one hour? So out of, you know, our day, let's give Jesus one hour. Even if you talk to him in the car on the way to work, rather than listening to the radio, listen to worship music on the highway and just talk to Jesus. But I think it really helps if you're home, somewhere quiet without having to think about the traffic and people you know moving around you by with their own car and so on being alone with the lord is so important so find time find time with god and don't let the internet take you away don't let facebook and uh, social media i know you're watching me on facebook so i guess for this it's okay but you know people get on facebook to watch stuff or uh, social media that takes our time away from the Lord and watch this stuff, empty stuff on TV that means nothing. Uh, how, what, what do you gain from that? Nothing. Or reading magazines about gossip. Like, what do you get from that? Nothing except trouble. And I, one is, let me be raw. Some of it is demonic. People read magazines and it's all devils in there. So let's get away from that. We don't belong to this world, sweet saints. We're in it. We're not of it. We don't belong to this world. I want no part in it. I want no part of this world. I'm sold on Jesus. His presence is my life. His presence is my joy. His presence is my tranquility. You lose things in life, but never lose that blessed time with the Lord. I beg of you, I'm, I'm, I'm asking every one of you, Nick and Lois and Megan, please listen to me, all of you. Every one of you, listen to me. Never lose that precious time with the Lord. Families come, families go. Friends come, friends go. Jesus stays in that precious and he's the one who really matters in life because when it's all said and done, what do you have? What do you have? Um, I had my mom two years ago, this Christmas and last Christmas. I didn't have her. My dad, gone. Um, my brothers, my sisters, I talk on the phone with them, but they, they live busy lives. Uh, it's hard to see them sometimes, as it is with me. I live a very busy life. So families, you know, you talk to them when you can. You be with them when you can. But who do you really have when it's all done? I mean, think think really straight. Who do we have when it's all said and done? One person who said, I shall never leave thee. I shall never forsake thee. Families the time will come they will leave children will leave they grow they go they get married and they have their own families then so what do you have and I'm talking to I'm talking to somebody who needs to hear this our relationship with Jesus is really all we have in life as Christians that's all we have this world out there hmm I don't want it <laughs> I don't want it Really, I don't want it. There's nothing in it that uh, that I want. Nothing whatsoever. All I want to do while I'm, I'm alive is serve my precious Redeemer and tell people about Jesus and pray with them and 
serve him with all my heart that's really what I want but I don't enjoy watching the news is depressing oh God please mm -hmm. get me away from it I don't even watch it anymore I don't even watch the news it's just nothing good to even listen to Wow you almost want to throw up uh, watching shows on TV really what shows forget it we need to live a balanced life of course of course the most important thing though is the Lord our relationship with the master that's all that matters and then things that come in life you know you can enjoy a moment of watching an old movie you know or reading a good book that can add to your life I don't have much time reading books to be honest with you I do enjoy every so often watching something old you know uh, from 60s and 70s wholesome something touching there's a lot of good Christian movies we can watch but even 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 that there's not a whole lot of good ones out there so the first thing we do though every day is give Jesus the time that we honor him with and because we love him we want to be with him then we go about our day and the Lord understands we have to work we have our ministries our jobs and responsibilities he understands all that but but just let's not lose our focus let's not lose why are we on this planet are we on this planet so we can get up and go to work and make money and go to bed and do the same thing the next day that's really not life why why are we here we're we're here to leave an impact on people's lives we are here to impact the hearts of men and women for one person only his name is Jesus so everything we do everything we do in life our focus is the Lord the Lord he is our life he gives meaning to our day he's the one who keeps us in peace and joy because what is what is the world what is the kingdom that we're in why even be alive yeah the kingdom of God is not meat and drink mm -hmm. but it's joy right. righteousness peace and joy in the Holy Spirit Wow that's what I want I have what 60 I'm 65 so uh, another 20 good years before it's shalom for good <laughs> shalom. I mean you know come on let's be let's be real how long will will I live I do not want to waste another moment on anything in this world there's there's nothing in it whatsoever family has its place friends have their place ah but after we're done with them they say whoop we're gone and then you're by yourself Nah, you're never by yourself never you're always always remember this you're never alone you're always in his sight you're always being watched and 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 he said he said that he thinks about us more than the stars in the heavens wow. forgive me I'm just being touched by that and the sands upon the seashore Jesus thinks about you all the time he thinks about you way more forgive me than you think about your children way more than you think about your parents way more than you think about anything in life uh, Jesus thinks about you all the time and all he's asking of us is to think about him some of the time just some of the time he thinks about us all the time oh. Oh. somebody said 42 million net worth oh lady you're wrong on that darling uh, you you're believing lies on that about me I don't I don't have that kind of a net worth <laughs> how I wish if I did I'd give it to the Lord every every cent of it uh, there's a lot of stuff about me out there that isn't true I can assure you that uh, people say all kinds of things they want to say and I really don't care what this lady thinks to be honest with you or anyone else thinks about me 
what I care about is what the Lord thinks about me. Amen. Many of you know me, and I'm, I'm grateful to you. Uh, on a solid rock that can never be broken, you bet it's the Lord, it's the Lord. But, you know, sometimes, uh, and I'm going to pray with you in just a moment because people are sending, they need their inter uh, intervention. But I want to say shame on that person who just sent me a little, a little thing that said uh, I'm worth 42 million. That's a joke. Tell him. <laughs> it's, it's, it's laughable. It is laughable. It's, 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 it's laughable. Frankly, how I wish. Yes. I would, we would, we give would it do. Give it, so much we, to the poor, give it to the poor. Business. I'm opening a brand new ministry called Compassionate Love. In fact, we just opened it to help the poor. And the Lord told me, he said, don't take a cent out of it. And we give it all to the poor. But you want to believe whatever you want to believe. That's your business, whoever wrote that nasty comment. Uh, but the Lord knows my heart. You don't know my heart. Amen. So back to my partners. I want to focus on the sweet people that love our ministry. And I love you dearly, all of you. And because I'm talking today about one thing and one thing only, making your life count for Jesus. Just it's all about the Lord. Nothing to do with us. And one of these days, everything will be revealed anyways, you know. We're going to stand before the judgment seat of Christ and... What people say about us it really doesn't matter at all. It's what the Lord thinks. Well, bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Trudy, for saying the sweet things. Thank you. Now, Father, we pray. I pray for every need in the lives of your sweet people right now, Lord. Meet every need, answer every prayer, heal every broken heart, heal every wounded soul, and heal every ill and sick body in jesus name lord bring health and healing today in the mighty name of jesus touch your sweet people for your glory i pray and meet every need amen have a blessed year thank you again for watching me thank you for letting me open my heart to you and remember what i said uh thank you thank you sheila i appreciate that dear thank you your, your comments, by the way, mean, mean a lot to me. I appreciate that more than you know. So let's have a great year together. And let's not lose one day without having contact with our precious Lord. Love you much. Have a blessed day. And shalom.